Click the link to MTG Burgeoning's Introduction to Plane Chase in the description below. There are some planes in Plane Chase that grant powerful static abilities to all players. From ramping mana, producing creature tokens, copying spells and drawing cards, to enhancing creatures, graveyard recursion, fixing mana, and incentivizing combat. Some planes have the potential of dramatically altering the landscape of the game. As a way to hedge against this opponent's philanthropy, the chaos abilities of these planes motivate their inclusion into planar decks by providing a warmer self-embrace. With the idea of hugging the group, and yourself a little bit more, keep in mind, the Eon Fog could be added to any planar deck. Players skip their untapped steps. Basically, this plane is stasis without the upkeep tax. Yay? Whenever you roll Chaos, untap all permanents you control. So rolling Chaos is a way to unlock your permanents from Stasis, a feature from which your opponents cannot benefit. Preventing each player from untapping permanents they control should lead to longer and grindier gameplay, in addition to raising the salt levels amongst the players in your playgroup. Not all static abilities on playing cards are powerfully beneficial to the table. Or Zova could be added to most planar decks. When you planes walk away from this plane, each player returns all creature cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. This is half of Living Death, a card around which entire deck archetypes have been crafted. There are always graveyard shenanigans afoot in EDH, and this plane's chaos ability can manage it. Whenever you roll chaos, for each opponent, exile up to one target creature from that player's graveyard. This could be a tricky proposition, as you have the same odds of exiling creatures as you do reanimating each and every one of them. So be sure to include some additional graveyard hosiery in your deck. 